Ding Liren won the world championship in April of this year. But soon after that, he disappeared completely from the chess world. What exactly happened to Ding Liren? The sad truth is that before the world championship, Ding was planning to quit chess and retire. Maybe he would continue to teach the younger generation, or just continue with his lawyer career. Either way, as Ding has said, his plan was to enter a few tournaments and just visit some cool places before ultimately quitting the game. Ding reached the heights of chess because he truly loved chess and was very passionate about it. But for a while now, Ding had mentioned that he could not find enjoyment in chess anymore and wanted to seek happiness elsewhere. So, when he entered the candidates tournament, Ding was treating it just like any other tournament. No one, including Ding, was really expecting him to finish first. But when he did, Ding felt insane pressure because he wanted to live up to the expectations of others. He suddenly became a public figure which Ding really couldn't prepare for. Even in interviews, he seemed really down and even said that this championship had really stressed him out. Not a lot of people know this, but Ding even met with a psychologist during the match for the world title because he was having a hard time dealing with the pressure. After winning the world championship, Ding Liren realized that everyone was now going to keep an eye on him. He said on an interview that he now realizes that the crown is too heavy. But this other response from Ding really puts things into perspective. I kept thinking, what should I do next? Before I was world champion, I always believed the path of climbing greater heights was more exciting than being at the mountaintop. Now that I am standing at the mountaintop, I definitely need a new motivation. Something like how Carlson's dad encourages Carlson. If you look up, there's nobody there. But if you look down, there are people all over. Ding now understands the amount of pressure Carlson had for most of his career, and he's still learning to deal with it. When asked if he would defend his title, this was Ding's reply. I will gradually adapt to my current title. I did have doubts about continuing chess before, but at least for the next two or three years, I will persist. Meaning, he will defend his title and possibly enter another candidate's tournament if he loses. He said this a few months ago after winning the tournament, but this however does not look good considering that we haven't seen him enter any tournament since then. All of us want the best for Ding and his mental health, but we should also start considering that Ding might only play the finals and just completely disappear after that.